everybody, this is Steve Girl, and we're going to be doing some warm-ups and stretches. One, two, three, and then bring it back the other way. And then you can do this at home with your family, with your kids, and just make a contest to go as fast as you can. Okay, there's your first drill. All right, the next one is sprints. So you can start with a nice, light, easy jog. And then as you go, kind of build up the speed with your kid, have a little bit of fun, and then you start sprinting really fast, moving your feet as fast as possible, and then super sprints, and then have a good time with that as well. Make sure you make a contest out of it so they can have fun too. All right, and then for this one, it's planks. So you're gonna go down, elbows down on the ground, legs off the ground, just to feet, squeeze your body nice and tight, and then just hold it. Make it a contest. You're gonna go for at least 30 seconds. So try to do each drill for about 30 seconds. And then if you wanna go for a little bit longer, you can try and hold it for a little longer as well. Okay, hopefully these warm-ups are really good for you. You can have some fun with these. All right, now for your stretches, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than we do in class. You're gonna have a seat. You're gonna sit in the splits, just like this, legs straight, toes pointed up. You're gonna do three sets of each. So the first one is leaning nice and straight forward. Do three sets of that. Then to the right leg, you grab your foot, you can reach it, try and put your head or chest to your knee. Then the left, then you're gonna bring your legs together, legs straight, toes pointed up, and reach straight down, grabbing your toes, trying to put your head to the floor, three sets of that. Then the last one is butterfly stretch. You put your feet together, pull them all the way in, nice and tight, trying to press your knees to the ground for three sets as well. Each set is 10 seconds long. Okay, have fun doing these stretches and feel great. So combo is 11 and 12, followed by a hip throw to side control, transition to the mount, ground and pound arm bar. This will be done by Sifu Josh, one time fast. Ready, go. Move combo 12. And then a hip throw to side control, transition to the mount, ground and pound with an arm bar. All right, that was one time fast. Now to break this down, combo number 11. Sifu Andrew is going to throw a jab. Sifu Josh is going to slip it with his own counter jab to the body. From here, he's going to step with his right leg, getting offline, turn with a strong cross. He's going to come back with a left hook, another right cross, and a back leg groundhouse kick. Then he dis disengages. From there, he's going to do combo 12. Sifu Andrew throws a right cross. Sifu Josh is going to uh, shoulder roll. Then he's going to catch his hook that Sifu Andrew is going to throw. From there, he comes back with the right cross, turns his body with the left hook, turns with another right cross, and as his hand comes back, comes with the lead, uh, back leg side kick, puts it in front, turns his body, looks over his shoulder, and does a turn back kick, and then brings it all the way back to create space. From there, he's gonna step in, knock the wrist down, go for a hip throw, left hand grabs the elbow, right hand behind the back, gets to the side, and then he's gonna step across, bending his knees, he's gonna use his legs to turn, and throw C for Andrew and following him down to the side control position. From there, he's gonna switch his base, knee in the side, step across, head stays down, nice and tight, scoots all the way up. Knees need to be underneath the armpit, so that way Sifu Andrew can't bridge and get him off. He's then gonna do a ground and pound. From there, does a hook to kind of open him up. Right hand goes on the chest, left hand wraps around. He's gonna put pressure, push, and throw the leg over. Going slow to apply until Sifu Andrew taps. And that is the drill for our seniors. Hi guys. So this is our message for the month. Courage. It means being able to do something even though you're afraid. And we have a lot of things going on right now. We have the coronavirus, People are afraid because they're getting sick. Um, some people are, 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 aren't are surviving this. We also have our shelter in place. It's affecting our economy. Parents can't go to work. You guys can't go to school. Um, people don't know how they're gonna pay their bills. So it's a lot of stuff going on where people are afraid. But this is our time to step up and allow our courage to take over, okay? Um, even though you know we might be afraid, um, we still have to focus on doing our absolute best um, and being there for each other and not letting our fear get the better of us, okay? This is also a great time for us to come together 
and to spend more quality time together. So parents, great time for you to spend more time with your kids. It's a good time for you guys to really get to know your parents um, and spend more time with them and have fun with each other. All right. So don't let these circumstances get the better of you. Utilize your courage, guys. And I'll see you or talk to you next week.